Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about Amsoil's brake fluid. Here's a picture or the shot of the container and they have two different brake fluids and I only have the DOT3 uh, container here with me right now. You can see right, get my finger out of the way, right there it says uh, DOT3. There's also a DOT4 uh, brake fluid for racing applications or if your car or uh, piece of equipment happens to call for a DOT4, Amsoil also has that available. I just don't happen to have one of the bottles here today. Uh, and this is a full synthetic brake fluid. Uh, and so you might be wondering, okay, what's the deal? Why do I need a full synthetic brake fluid? Um, well, the issue is heat buildup inside your brake system uh, can destroy or, or uh, erode the quality of your brake fluid. Uh, and brake fluid is constantly subjected to a couple of things that uh, erode or destroy it. And one of those is heat, which is built up through the braking system. As you apply your brakes, heat builds up on the rotor or on, uh, and then transfers into the caliper and through the pads into the caliper, uh, through the pistons of your caliper. And that heat uh, travels back up the brake system through the brake lines. So when that heat, uh, when, when you're out there and you're driving really hard, especially in, in high speed, high, uh, you know, when you're, you're stopping very quickly or you're applying your brakes very frequently at high speeds, uh, which is very typical as we find in race applications or some power sport applications uh, where you're going into and out of corners all the time, uh, that puts such a huge workload on your brake fluid and we don't usually ever think about it unless you start having problems and you start doing the research to try to figure out you know why aren't my brakes working uh, like I want them to you know I start out in the race or I start out in this driving track and my brakes are working just fine but I get part of the way through there and now all of a sudden my brake pedal is spongy you know they're just not working right well Part of that is because your brake fluid uh, is not strong enough uh, to withstand that heat and you may have some water in there as well. Because um, one of the other things that a lot of people don't do very often, if ever, is change their brake fluid. Uh, some of the new cars are now calling for the brake fluid to be changed on a periodic basis. Uh, and I have found with my own cars uh, that if I'll just you know suck out about two or three ounces out of each uh, brake line, basically one for each wheel, you know whenever I like rotate the tires or do a brake job and change the pads or something and replace that fluid that that I sucked out through each of the wheel cylinders uh, back up into the master cylinder, then my brake system works so much better. I have a more responsive brake pedal. You know, it feels firmer, it feels like my brake system is working better, and that's because it is, because I've got the water out of there, and I've got the air out of there, and I'm getting in a better fluid. Uh, so it's it's good all around. But uh, the reason that these DOT3 and DOT4 brake fluids from Amsoil are, are so much better is because the base oil that they use uh, to make them with is a higher quality synthetic fluid as opposed to a conventional fluid. And so it's more temperature stable. It's not going to react to those high temperature situations like a conventional fluid will uh, and, and react in this way in a negative way. And it also keeps the water that happens to seep into your brake system because unless you bleed your brake system very frequently, uh, water is going to get in there. Uh, you know, if you open the cap or even through, there's little tiny microscopic holes in the brake lines, those flexible lines that that you have on your car that allow your wheel to move up and down. Uh, there's a rubber hose that connects uh, you know, your, the, the chassis of your car to the caliper. Uh, water enters through the system through tiny microscopic holes in those rubber brake lines as well. Uh, so it's almost impossible to keep the water out of there. So about all you can do is on a continual basis just keep flushing that uh, fluid out to get the water out of there and to get the fluid that may have been subjected to the most heat which is going to be that fluid that's right near the wheel cylinder uh, to get it out of there and push down fresh fluid from the top. Uh, 
So that's the that's the deal. That's the so what with uh, synthetic brake fluid. Again, we've got it in dot three and dot four, uh, depending on what your application calls for. So please do your brake system a favor uh, and get that old fluid out of there. Uh, if your car doesn't have a recommendation in the or your piece of equipment, whether it's a motorcycle or whatever, if, if your piece of equipment or your car doesn't have a recommendation in the service manual uh, or back in the owner's manual about changing your brake fluid, uh, then just start taking a look at it or have your mechanic take a look at it uh, and see. Because if it starts to get discolored even up in the master cylinder where you pour the brake fluid in, well, that's where the best fluid is. And so if the fluid that's up in the master cylinder is looking bad, the fluid that's down near the wheel cylinders and near your calipers is going to be even worse. And so at that point, you know you need to start thinking about getting that entire system flushed out with new high-quality brake fluid like this synthetic brake fluid from Amsoil. Uh, so go to our website, MinutemanPerformance.com, and link to the Amsoil website there. Uh, to to order your product. Uh, if you're going to spend more than $100 a year on Amsoil products, including our vitamin line, uh, Ultram, or our fertilizer line, Agrand, uh, seriously recommend for you to become a preferred customer of Amsoil. That will allow you to purchase Amsoil products at the wholesale price, which is usually about 20% off of retail, uh, and then Amsoil ships those products right to your house at that wholesale price. Um, and you don't have to worry about, well, where can I get them or who stocks them or anything else. Uh, and there's no minimum purchase requirements, so you can order as many or as little as you need. One item, 100 items, 1,000 items, doesn't matter. Uh, they'll bring them right to you. Um, so take a look at that, uh, that. And you can add that preferred customer membership to your shopping cart on your very first order. And it will save you money that first order. In many cases, it'll pay for itself uh, on your first order. So take a look at that. Please check us out on Facebook at Synthetic Oil Info and like us there. Uh, we're obviously also here on YouTube under Synthetic Oil Info. Please subscribe to our channel and like us here as well. Uh, by liking and subscribing to us, you allow us to get seen by more people. Uh, and that way, we can help them solve their oil filtration and lubrication problems and challenges just like we're helping you right now. Uh, we hope you buy Amsoil products from us. Uh, thank you if you do, but even if you don't, please send us your questions or concerns so we can help you solve those problems. Again, my name is Tom Brown. This is Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, that's it for now. We hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day.